H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Do the same thing, but I want to do it for uh, for some specific set of departments so that means I want to do the same thing for maybe for the department number 50 and department number 80 yeah I'll do it. so department number 50 and department number 80 okay so let's see one thing how to copy a mapping so I already have a mapping which is very much similar in terms of functionality. I want to use the same functionality but I want to add another transformation. So instead of building the mapping again from the scratch what I can do is I can just copy the same mapping and do the changes there. So how to copy a mapping? Mm. This this is my mapping. What I'm going to do is I'll drag and drop. So when you see this plus sign, leave it. It will ask you, do you want to copy? I'll say yes. And I want to rename the new mapping as M employee filter. Okay. Next, finish. and then control this. So when I do control this, it saves the mapping. Now I will drag this M underscore filter here. Now I don't want you guys to start copying the mapping now itself. What I want is try to build the mapping one more time from the scratch. That way you will be having a little practice. Okay. If you feel that, okay, you can easily build this mapping, then you start copying the mappings. Now, what I want to do is, I want to put a filter in between these two. So, I will create, okay, not from here, let's do it from here. So, I'll go transformation, create, and then filter. Now, I'll bring the required ports here. First name. Last name. Um, salary, commission, department, phone number.
Now, in the real world, there is a chance. See, right now we are dealing with a small volume, a small number of ports, right? So you can read here, okay, where is my employee ID? Okay, this is my employee ID. You can go and link in this way. But in real world, you may be dealing with the tables which has maybe 70, 80 columns. And then in the column names here and the column names in this transformation and the column names in this transformation are not in the same order. So oh, to connect the columns, it's very tough. Like you have to search throughout the transformation where exactly is the column name. So the easiest way to tra connect the column names is what you do is you select this transformation filter and then go to layout and go to auto link by name and drag and drop it here. So wherever the names are same, it will automatically link them. And after doing that, maybe you have missed some of the columns, you can go manually and link them. So that will reduce a lot of your work. Okay. Now in the filter, I will give the filter condition. So I want to pass only the depart only the data which is for department number 18. Now department number is my decimal column. So that's why uh, I don't have to put single quotes, but if it's a, a string or character column, then I have to put a single quotes like this. Okay. So that means what I want to do is I use I want to use the same functionality but only for department number 80. Now let's create the workflow and run it and see. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. So uh, now you can see it has read 107 records, and but only 34 records are processed because 34 records are from department number 80. Uh, let's see the data real quick, and then I'll show you something. Mm.
now see all are from department number 80 now in the in this filter i can use more than one conditions like i can use department number is 80 or department number is 50 so that means it will process either department number 80 or department number 50 records or I can use some functions also let's say if uh, let's say if e actually if is not required it's most like implicitly say if okay I can say use another functions like let's say I want to take a substring of a string and then compare this if that substring is something then pass those records. So let's say I want to take a substring of a, uh, uh, a substring of the phone number and I want to see if the first three numbers which is the area code is 347 then only pass those records. Something like that. Got it? So this is a very, uh, very easy transformation. So any questions from uh, filter? Hello. No questions. Okay. So then it's good. So you. Um, So this is uh, one of the easy transformations and then we will see another easy transformation today uh, which is your um, sorter transformation but sorter is a very very important transformation okay so what I'm going to do is um, let's say I, I'll add the sorter in this transformation itself so um, let me see another this is my source it. So I want to sort the data based on my salary, let's say. Okay. So what I want to do is I will add another transformation, sort a transformation. Now, in the sorter transformation, you have to tell the sorter you want to do the sorting based on which column. So I want to do the sorting based on my salary. So that is my key. And then I want to do ascending or descending. Let's say uh, descending. So I want to see the highest salary at the top and the lowest salary at the bottom. Okay, it processed 34 rows, that's correct. Now let's see the data.
Now see, my highest salary is at the top and my lowest salary is at the bottom. Okay, now this is a question for everyone. Tell me one thing. In this mapping, whether shorter should go before the filter or the order is correct. This is an open question for everyone. And why? Order is correct actually. Mm, why? This will actually help the in a way the performance of let's say I, I am reading some uh, 1 million rows and I filter like only 500 of them so it will be sorting only 500 of them instead of sorting all five you know or the entire set of data and then doing the filter which will like will spend the same time so this would be yeah. a huge saving on running of the map. So performance wise this is this should be the correct order so this is a thumb rule whenever you use a filter the filter should be as close as possible to your source qualifier that way you will improve the performance if you can filter out the unnecessary records at the beginning itself you will not process them so you will save time okay so that's correct now let's see the properties of sorted transformation See whatever they, we have. Okay, now, okay. Sort of transformation is very very important when we have duplicates in the source. Now, if I have, if my source is a database table and it has duplicates, I have different ways of removing those duplicates. But if my source is a flat file. Okay, and I ha I know I have duplicates, and I want to take only the distinct records. I do not have anything. I have to use sorter, and I have to use this one distinct. So there, this is the only way you can remove the duplicates from a flat file. Or maybe intermediate of a mapping. So when I'm saying the inter, maybe you'll not understand the intermediate of a mapping because we haven't seen those things yet. But intermediate of a mapping means, let's say I have five different sources here. I'm reading data uh, and then I'm doing a lot of things here. And somewhere here, before coming to this expression, I did, I, I read data from three or four sources and did a lot of things. Uh, before coming to this expression, I, I realized that I, my data should be distinct because since I read data from multiple sources, there are chances that I got duplicate data. So unless I read the data from multiple sources, I don't know whether the data is duplicate or not because each, when I'm talking about each, this is each source, the data is distinct. So. Uh, for example, let's say I am reading data from um, just just a, a small example, right? Let's say I'm reading data uh, for a customer who has as um, um, a checking account and also a savings account. So let's say the checking account is coming from um, a single database and the uh, savings account is coming from a single database. So since these two are two different sources, when I am looking to each source, okay, a single person can have only one checking account, right? Similarly, a single person can have only one savings account. But when I read the data from both the sources, there are people who have both savings and checking account. So after reading only, I see that there are duplicates. So in those kind of scenarios, I want to remove the duplicates in the intermediate state. I will use the sorter. Any questions? Okay. So now, let's go back to the properties. Now, case sensitive is when I am doing a sorting based on a string column then and I want to use the case sensitive 
feature as well. So that means the sorting should be based on case sensitive. So then I will be, I will check out, check this option. Uh, distinct is fine and then null. Null is, let's say, uh, let's say as for salary I have, have, have few records who does not have a salary or maybe commissions. Let's talk about commissions. I, I want to uh, sort the record based on commissions and there are few employees who don't get commission. So for those employees, the commission field is null. So I want to treat that null as a lowest record or not. So if I want to treat that as a lowest record, then it will, and I'm doing the ascending order, then nulls will show up at the top. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So we will not take any other transformation today. We will just take two easy transformations today. And then I have a question. Did you guys get a chance to go through this document? This document? Because uh, maybe not today, but tomorrow I'm going to t tell you about what is dimensions, what is facts, and what is star schema, what is snowflake schema. So before going there, I want you to read at least mm, the first two pages of this document. And did I tell you about the what is data mart and what is the difference between data mart and data warehouse? Hello. Yes, no. Yes, okay. Then fine. And then I, I uh, so I, I'll tell about the uh, star schema and snowflake schema dimension packs tomorrow. So please make sure you read this document at least first two pages. And I have a list of assignments, but uh, you are not yet uh, ready for those assignments because I have to tell you a few more transformations. Then only I can give you those assignments. Okay. I want to tell you something else, which is uh, how many of you have uh, knowledge about Unix commands and Unix shell scripting? Let me put in this, how many of you do not have uh, any knowledge about shell scripting or um, uh, Unix commands? Shobhan, this is Shurat. I, I don't have any experience in Unix. Okay. Now, for, for this is, I will be sharing this document with everyone, but do you have uh, experience in in um, at least um, Windows batch? Um, no, Shobhan. Okay, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I will be sending out this, I made a common, a list of common commands used in Unix. Okay. So this is, just go through the, those commands this will give you a fair idea like what are the different commands used and what are the purpose and then I have another document which is gives you an idea about what is shell scripting okay okay, okay. so if you go to the go through these two documents then probably you will have an idea about what is shell scripting and then what is uh, unix commands and I will tell you, not now, but later on I will tell you what are the, the different areas we use Unix commands, why do we use Unix commands, different, and how to handle them. Those things I will come later, but I want uh, you to at least 
Let's just uh, start looking to this command so that you have an idea about Unix. Sure. Okay. And then let me just look through these assignments. And let me see if anything which you can do today. Okay, this is one thing, uh, uh, I, and this, I, this is this already you have done, and this is something uh, which uh, we I want you to do, but this comes under error handling. But uh, let, okay, I will, let's do it tomorrow. Okay, but um, let's take this assignment. So assignment number two, if you have already done the assignment number two. Let's do the assign I will be sending this document as well. Okay. So let's do the assignment number three. So assignment number three is this. I this is my department IDs. Okay. I want a serial number like this which says one, two, three, four, five, six. And I want another serial number which is within that department. So this serial number gives you the serial number within the department. And the front serial number gives the overall serial number. Any question in understanding this uh, assignment? Okay. Try and uh, try doing this assignment number three. And this is not complex but um, just try it if you don't able uh, to do it then I'll give you the concepts but I'm not going to tell you the solution I'll give you the concepts if you are not able to do it okay um, so today I'm going to send you three documents one is this assignment document one is the shell scripting and one is command Unix commands and make sure in the transformation guide you go through and these three transformations, expression transformation, filter transformation, and then sorter transformation. Okay. So any questions? H2K emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.